the old book of prophecies. I need to catch up on some of my work. Um. He's around here somewhere. I shall find he, it for you. He waves his hand. The servants don't seem to know where it is, which means it wasn't put away properly. I see. <laughs> I shall have a look for it. I need to look up something about the King of Blood. Uh... Yeah, I believe you said Lord Nori is not a king. Huh? Uh, it's quite all right. Well, I shall. I'll look after. You're it. putting mm. him to bed. He's going. Mm, Redicus. Mm, yes, Redicus. Redicus. Mm. Uh, does the name? You're gonna have to sleep with him to get more details. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Shut it. <laughs> <laughs> does uh, knowledge history, does that mean anything to me? Sure. All right. <clears throat> oh, I reset the stream, oh, so... You rolled a 17, Mark. <laughs> All right, um, so... <laughs> you don't funny. know anything specifically about this one, but um, there is like a like a regional folk tale. It's not imperial. It's not imperial um, uh, history. It's more like Avacian, the local um, folk tale. Something about the king in the king in red or the king in blood. Okay. I'm just going to mark that down. Um, the real kicker will be when it's, oh, the Book of Prophecies from my job when I was 1972. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, he's years. actually going to look for the book of prophecies for him. <laughs> yeah, you 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 go around. You find the place in the library where it should have been shelved, and you know that these magical hands kind of grab the book that you talk about and go and deliver it to you, and then put it back. So it's somewhere beyond their reach, or it's been removed from the library, or maybe even the tower. Okay. Um. You'll have a look around his study or wherever he does his research. Yeah, give me a perception check. I'm not good at those either. I would say, what are you good at? But the answer to that is oh. it's quite a robust number of things. Okay. <laughs> uh, apparently I'm just going to do a bunch of rolling for you. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, you, you look do. at the places where, where you think books should be, and you don't find them. All right. That's a good question Fox has. This connection problem on my end is annoying. I, I, I don't got locate object. So D20 plus two? That being said, I'm in a mage's tower with scrolls galore. <laughs> Checks, yeah, ask for what it would be like a third the book of second circles. Like, <laughs> isn't this guy supposed to be a diviner? Uh, yeah, can he I might find, be a diviner. Can I find me a locate object scroll I can copy into my spellbook? He did have, remember, he had a shelf that where he kept scrolls of all the spells he knew, but it does look mm -hmm. like lots are missing or he hasn't replaced them in a long time. We'll say there's wow. a 1 in 3 chance, you roll 1 on a d3, there is a locate object scroll still there. <laughs> okay. Apparently these people don't... Somebody has pilfered all, all the evocation and a bunch of the necromancy, a little bit of the illusion, but somebody hasn't really paid much attention to the div divination. That's because they are short-sighted fools. If you grab a scroll, it's copies. a caster level 3 scroll of locate object. You're sort of looking around, like no alarm goes off, the old man's sleeping upstairs. He, can he, he looks 
to copy it. <laughs> okay, so you spent a few hours at the Tower of Tacitus, uh, uh, the Tower of the Sage, uh, penning a spell into your spell book illegally for services rendered or something. It's not illegal <laughs> for services rendered. It's so that he can now use his arcane bond to cast the spell to find the book. Yes. He was basically ordered to do it. Find the book, he said. Okay. He asked me to find the book for him. Okay. I see. I, I see. Uh, spell, <coughs> spellcraft to <coughs> to learn. I die. Yep. yep. <coughs> yeah. Thirty-eight. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I learned a ninth level spell with that. Um. I learned a tenth level spell with that. <laughs> right. Uh, you can <laughs> pen it in your spell book. It does cost forty gold pieces of ink to put in your spell book. I'm sure there's a lot of that around here. It's a guild. You pay dues for a reason. Come sure. On. <laughs> yeah, but he but he's gone senile and he's been living he's been living poorly for a while. He asked me to find the book. I'm finding the book. All right, book. you find 110 gold pieces worth of magic ink. He only uses what he needs for. The real question is do you now pen a scroll of that spell to stick on the shelf? Yes, I will. All right, so you're spending days there at the Tower of the Sage, uh, going back and forth between your other duties and uh, and um, kind of going back and forth at the Tower of the Sage. All right, because crafting a scroll after after studying the spell, that's hours. Well, um, yes, he he'd need to have it memorized. He couldn't do that today. Yeah, but he could use his arcane bond to see if he can use that to find oh, the book. Oh, yeah, you, you could. You could. So, are you, is that what you're doing before you're leaving? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Four hundred feet plus. 40 feet per level. Um, your level... I'm seven. seven. Are you a transmuter, a generalist? A... Generalist. Hmm. 340 by this map. So that's like 300 feet. That's a big circle, man. Um, it goes... Uh, it's 400 yeah. feet, foot. Uh, it's anything sort of west of the Civic Arena. And if it's 400 plus 40 feet per cash level, it's like Kozu's pipe. Unless... Oh, this is double. Yeah, uh, double. Oh, okay. So then it would be... Like That's 300 feet, and then another third. Uh, 400 and uh, times four. <coughs> 280, which would be 140 beyond that. 140. Okay. Um, you caught it as you were pacing around a little bit. It's direction, right? So it is... Yeah. North and east and down slightly. Okay, he follows it like a divining rod, concentrating on it. Okay, you leave the Tower of the Sage. And begin wandering down. Well, you got to leave the Tower of the Sage, and you kind of have to yeah. go down through the streets, and you're still kind of north and east. You find yourself passing the vicinity of Ollie's Blessed uh, Press. You can hear some people laughing. They're not laughing at you. They're laughing because they're drinking wine. You pass the yes, Tower of Con Contemplation. <laughs> the, air the direction begins to change and is slowly <laughs> starting to point north as, as you're walking down the street near the Tower of Contemplation. It is a north with a slight, slight easterly bearing. Ah. Uh. He heads north with a slight east. Okay. Oh my god, the house of the cabal. <laughs> uh, now it's starting to point. Yeah. It's, it's now pointing like like up and somewhere on the second level of this dilapidated building. <laughs> okay. And then and then I stuck a melt. I, I stuck an acid arrow into him. <laughs> and you can hear a bunch of these fucking college bratty voices laughing. <laughs> Draco Malfoy's in there, <laughs> Junk and whatever the other guy's name is, 
Rick and Morty. <laughs> Did he scream? <laughs> nah, he was too busy gurgling on his own stomach acids. Our stomachs have acids? You fool! You've never dissected anyone before? I'm yeah, an Imperial he's... wizard. He's knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Liza! Oh, shit. My, as I drive my own dog insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a perception check. Uh, okay. Uh, 21. You don't know, notice the invisible thing watching you? Yeah, that was never going to happen. <laughs> You're knocking on the door? Um. Anyways, back to your studies, you idiots. There's a knocking on the door. Yeah. Who's there? It's Phineas Garrett, Imperial Wizard Ooh. and Alchemist. Phineas, Master, Phineas is here. I heard you the first time. Give me a moment. You hear spellcasting? Uh, spellcraft check. Spellcraft. Do you, do you care what he's casting? Yeah. He's casting freaking disintegrate. <laughs> ah, Phineas. <laughs> hello. Uh, Thirty-three. He's casting a shocking grasp. He's okay, gonna pull uh... a Joker Joey Blesser. Ah, Phineas. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will. I will. I will. Cast my protection from energy. Electricity. Okay. Electricity? <laughs> Alright, so you're here, like. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can hear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this guy, like. He opens the door. Yeah? Is his room in? Oh, uh, yeah. Come on in. Don't mind the rats. It's probably it's probably just Frank's uh, familiar. Shut up. The year one of them say. Ah, Phineas. You know you notice that there's this crackling energy behind his back. Mm -hmm. What brings you to the house of the Cabal? Master Tacitus would like his book of prophecies back. Pickle Rick, awesome name. Uh, thanks for the ball. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I could go find it for you. I know exactly where it is. I don't like your tone. This is my cabal. Well, I could bring a lieutenant in the Imperial Army in to come search your cabal, and then you could potentially be charged with theft. Wouldn't Daddy be proud of you then? I am an Imperial Wizard. We're allowed to borrow books if we want them. Not when Master Tacitus doesn't know it's left the building. And you know that full well. What are you doing there, snooping around? I'm assisting Master Tacitus. When Master Tacitus, and he shows you his, his, his crackling spell in his hand, when Master Tacitus has finally whipped down from his position of power, who do you think they're going to pick as his replacement? The gnome. <laughs> They're like snorting in derision. Well, probably not someone who lives in this. That's all I'm thinking. <laughs> Lanziva will never get this. He's an illusionist, a fake, a fraud. Someone who specializes just... in a single part of magic should never be in charge of all magic. That is ludicrous. <clears throat> Lanziva the ludicrous. We'll have to remember that one for next time. I suggest you leave, is what he's saying, is he's crackling, his, his energy's, uh, the energy's crackling around his hand. He's I threatening suggest. to touch you with it if, uh... Just, just grab his finger, do it, man. Do it, 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 the, oh, the, he the, does like he does that very childish thing where he grabs the fingers and pulls them back. <laughs> the, the, other, the other wizards are, like, are slowly reaching towards one, some of them are reading spells... Do not begin something you do not want to finish. 
hold. Wizard dueling is not legal yet. Others may know he's here. I suggest you leave, or I will fetch the guard. That's quite all right. I will get the lieutenant right now. No, you won't! And he's reaching towards you. Roll initiative. All right. Just so you know, if you need Zed to, like, punch one of these guys in the dick really hard. <laughs> Are they annoying enough? I got a... Oh, they're I got... perfectly annoying. They're... I got a 16. <laughs> in his NES power glove. Okay. Um, he gets a 16. He's got a plus 4. And the I other wizards are a little bit slower. Four. They get a seven. All right. So, so you're about to you're about to do something. He's like, now you won't. And he's reaching out towards you. I have to check his spells. You do know that he casts more powerful spells than you do. I yeah. do know that. Yes. This this is also like this is also assault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want any <laughs> magazine <laughs> subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've no, you guys are hiding behind the law. Of course we are. <laughs> God damn it! Punch the girl guy. Girl, uh, okay. you want a worst... cookie? No. Uh, Mar Marty's got a good point. That makes us the worst adventurers ever. <laughs> We're not adventurers. That's, That's the whole thing. Yep. Yep. You bring a Shoko over here. Shoko would be you know whatever. Maybe assassinate one later. But... All right, so he is going to touch you. He's not very strong. He's got a plus six. You're flat-footed because he won initiative. He touched yep. AC 13. That, that hits. Okay, he channels a bunch of electricity, electricity into you for 18 electricity. I will take that off of my... Which, which then swirls around this nice, cool, blue aura that, that he didn't quite realize you had. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, oh they're, all, they're all beginning to panic. <laughs> they're all beginning to panic a little bit as, as they thought they would have roasted you with this. Okay. He, he five foot steps back from you. So it's a duel then. He's rolling up his sleeves. Not exactly. <laughs> He casts a, a... He's gonna back up to here. Okay, these are half-distance squares, so... Okay, well, all right, so hang on. Uh, I guess he can get that far. And he's gonna cast a Merciful Fireball at the back of the room. Oh, who's my... Who's my oh. little boy? Oh, I love you. <laughs> and please, you're gonna come, and you Merciful. just... You just you, there is this wet fart of a fireball that goes off. It's really warm, but it, it gives him a hot flash. And uh, all right, so this does non-lethal damage. Help. Cease and desist your unlawful behaviors. <laughs> well, I guess it's 10 foot radius halved, but it's still enough to, to blow up the entire room. I, I gotta check what... Little wizardlings have. I, do they have second circle spells? Mm -hmm. Do they have third circle spells? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's roll their reflex saves four times one d twenty plus two. Nat twenty, and then an eight, nine, and six. Uh, no, the DC is eighteen. Have been twenty if I had taken my cognitogen. Okay, which I really should have so before knocking on the door. Three of them are unconscious, and one guy has taken ten non-lethal. Mm. He dove behind this some shitty furniture as there was a uh, this pea-shaped little bead that went flying through the doorway and erupted in in a uh, a very brief fireball. It's like the whole fireball didn't erupt when it's merciful. How did, how did Big Pappy do? Oh yeah, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. Uh, his reflex save is not that great. Plus Get seven. Yeah. Twenty-five. He takes ten non-lethal. So he 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 kind of fell flat to the ground. Um, uh, now it's the wizards. And nothing catches have, fire because I think it's merciful. Like it's do you all have the merciful metamagic feet, or do you have rod? No, I have a merciful metamagic feet. Oh, you're 
you're such a genius. <laughs> Ikea flat pack futon equals not good cover. <laughs> yeah, they, they went diving everywhere. They're, they're all flying all over the place. Uh, what, okay. are, you, are you telling me 90s action movies lied to me? Um, <laughs> I believe it's now the apprentice's turn. So this guy yep. comes... Yep. Uh, half hit points. He is going to cower... Now he runs through the doorway. I'll get him! I'll get him! He's all steaming and his <laughs> his wand. Um... Let's see. They were laughing about acid arrow, so he's got a wand of acid arrow. Oh, I want to help. I want to help so much. Oh. <laughs> AC eight touch. Nope. Okay. Acid arrow goes flying by you and hits uh, hits the wall. Um, okay. It's now Isram's turn. I'll show you. Isram steps out. A bunch of black magic missiles go flying towards you. Ouch! For 16 real damage. Okay. <laughs> he didn't even cast a shield spell! It's not a duel, you fucking psycho! <laughs> <laughs> and magic missiles, some Phineas, guy in the street. <laughs> you thought you heard something flapping around behind you. Uh, Phineas's turn. Uh, Phineas is going to cast. Uh, he yeah, I heard something behind me. He's going to move here and cast invisibility. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? It was invisibility, you fool! His room is like a Pokemon trainer. It's uh, there's. there's... <laughs> 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 He's like Draco Malfoy crossed with a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs> like he's 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 blow by blowing the fight. Like he, he's describing the moves. <laughs> do, do you want me to fire? No, save save the wand. It's expensive. You can't afford it. You're lucky that I am merciful. We'll settle this again. When there are mage duels. Yeah, I'm not done. <laughs> That's what Israel does. Know that. <laughs> you, you, you notice he puts his arm out and something kind of like lands on his arm. You can see it crawling around. You have this distinct feeling. It's like similar to Nem. Like you've seen Nem crawl around on, on Ashoka's robes before. Yeah, he's going to... That's right. Run, you, know you coward. The biggest, most atomic wedgie you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fissure-inducing <laughs> atomic wedgie. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Phineas, you see um, uh, one of uh, old Dreg's uh, uh, cronies is out in the back having a, having a piss. He's like the big, uh, the, the big sweaty, stinky man in the, in the full plate armor. Yeah. He's kind of looking at, uh, wizard's up to something. You can, he just yells back down. There's some, there's some like broken down drunks hanging out in the front of Drunken Boot. Okay. He's gonna begin casting. Okay. What is it that you're casting? Summon Monster Two. Uh, let's see. He seems to be pretty. Running away, are you, Phineas? Uh, needs to get some spellcraft ranks. <laughs> come back inside. It's not safe out here, Isram. So it was his turn. He did nothing. Phineas started casting. Then it's this guy. He's waving Isram back inside. Then it's uh, Isram's turn. 
backing away, going inside. You didn't quite get what your spell was. You could hear something flapping around. And then this guy finishes his ready to action, closes the door. Your turn. Uh, are there windows open? There are windows in the upper floor. Everything is pretty much uh, shuttered and barred on the main floor. Okay. Because of the... Cause of the uh, uh... So I can't... There's just a guy that closed the door. He hasn't done much else. Have a good night, Zig. Yeah, but... Uh, you know what? He'll, he'll put the monster... I don't even... I haven't even decided what I'm summoning that shit. I don't turtle. use summon spells. The biggest wedge you've spell. ever seen. A centipede, a devil, a lemur, a small <sighs> elemental, an ant, goblin dog, horse, hyena, octopus, squid, wolf. Oh, goblin dogs are fun. <laughs> Milk fever? Give them all the rash. The <laughs> they, give, they give you a rash. <laughs> Are they medium? I think a goblin dog appears. Oh, and he has it attack the door. Okay. Oh, there's something out there. There's something out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Make it a post strength check with a DC 10 with a strength 10 wizard. All right. Oh, the wizard was scared. Rolling that 20. Yeah, I'm probably not. Uh... Oh, they're actually pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Mind you, against an at 20, I'm... Uh... Statistically unlikely, but still doable. Yep, 19 or 20, and you force the door open. Plus two. Yep. Yeah, okay, so while the dog is trying to get in, what is Phineas doing? What's your actual turn? Uh, he's going to cast Fly on himself. Okay. Uh, another pose strength check, because they haven't locked the door yet. He got a 19 this time. The fuck? He's really afraid. He's scared after you fireballed him and his friends. Mercifully, after two attack spells are cast. You know. yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, gob goblin's continuing to attack. Where is Phineas flying? What are you doing? Oh, he's flying to the window on the upper floor. Okay. He said it was open. Yeah, there's a. It's it's kind of like late spring, early summer, and it was really warm. There was a bit of a warm spell, so yeah, the the window is open. Does he happen to spot that book he's looking for? Yeah, you float into the room. There is a. Um, it's surprisingly neat. There's a a spare set of black robes that are hanging from uh, the peg. The door is closed to the room. There is a small bookshelf. You do see a spell book that is on the... Um... <laughs> Yoink, I'm sorry. He's usually very usually very much about the rules, but screw this guy. Spell book's mine. <laughs> okay, so Phineas floats into the room. You can trade him back later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not too sure which one is the book of legends or whatever, but you, you do float in and you see that there's a spell book that was left open. There's some ink and he's in the middle of like scribing a spell. Yoink. <laughs> okay, you close this tome and take it. Are you flying away now, or are you taking another look around? Oh, no, he's grabbing some more books. Maybe. Anything paper, anything bound. <laughs> okay, give me a perception check or some other skill that you think might help in identifying this book. Linguistics. Praise, praise maybe. Uh, I'll go with linguistics because, I don't know, praise is best if I can pull up a praise. I don't Yep, you could probably, with your praise, see which books are older or newer and figure out kind of like... All right. Which covers you the, should be looking at. Yeah, the quality of yeah. the books. I am just going to double check. No, 60. All right. That one's a Chinese phone book. There we go. 21. Um, yeah, you locate what you think is the Book of Prophecies. Okay, he'll nab that and he'll... Get out of lava there. Okay. All well, the dogs down there making the distraction. <laughs> All right, let it in. Be pretty sure he cast a lightning bolt out through the doorway, which just probably annihilated your goblin dog. <laughs> what a psycho! <laughs> and, and, yeah, that's exactly what Phineas is thinking. This guy's crazy. You can't throw that kind of magic around. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you, feel, you feel your goblin. You don't hear your goblin dog anymore as you're flying away with a ninth-level wizard spellbook. 
Yeah. Ninth level wizard without a spell book is that threatening. <laughs> 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 What's he got in him? One cloud kill? Oh no! Like, like he's not gonna know who fucking took it though. Oh, no. <laughs> Ding dong! And then you find out later your most precious uh, item is gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so you fly home, Phineas, <laughs> um, feeling like you've you've done good. I think uh, we all accomplished something today. Ahmed yeah, had some amazing role playing, and he stole some prior treasure. Phineas did some amazing role playing, and he <laughs> he did something that everybody wanted to happen. The last thing we'll do in the last three minutes is I said a courier arrived, and the courier has an official looking letter that is from the magistrate's office. Hmm. Okay. Um, who is opening this letter? I guess Phineas is just arriving back as several of the masters have gathered together to open the letter. Shoka, we'll do the honors. Okay. Shoka, We're short chair. round. He's been gone for a while. Who's short round? Um, Quid. Uh, Quid. Quid has been gone for some, some time. Remember, he said he had other business to do, and he and he mentioned that Damien is a lawyer. Okay. Good. I was just wondering if there was. Yeah. Sid flies back, and you guys were laughing over the the, the captured talents. <laughs> uh, actually, um, Marty, I didn't actually. Well, is early enough in the day. Sid's going to use a disguise check. Uh, he has a hat of disguise, and he's going to go. We have a bank, right? No. Isn't there a bank here? No. Uh, he doesn't want to store. He doesn't want to store at the place. He he hides the money. He tells the people about it, and then he's he's like, "Well, what are you gonna?" Have? So I I stole some money, <laughs> and uh, uh, should we keep it here? Should we change it? What do we do with it? I I'm fairly certain this is the bounty for some of our missing property, specifically Prentice. All right. Well, there was a letter with it. And in the letter it said, for our continued friendship, S. The letter S. And uh, when he opened it and looked inside, he said, this is a little light. Fucking pirates. So the uh, soul Zorst, the captain. Uh, you're familiar with him, yes? Magnus, uh, you remember him, yes? Oh, who, who the fucking guy? Yeah, he's he's the one who, well, is offended by your betrayal. Oh, that prick! Yeah, screw him over. Right. So, I'm. If you did your job properly, then this these funds should be relatively clean. I still say that they should be. Utilized as part of the official process for a reward to a bounty hunter of some variety. Okay. Are you adding these to the Ludus uh, value, or did did Sid return with all ten, or did he go? I stole nine. <laughs> uh, Sid Sid can get any amount of money he wants, actually, at any time. So. Sid doesn't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need he doesn't need money. So he's like, oh, all right, all right. Neutral evil asshole stealing from people who leave, who carelessly leave money around. I guess that'll learn him. Um, all right, he, he he add add ten talents to your uh, uh, to your Ludus, and you're opening the letter. Yes. yes. Okay, it's an official letter. It's got a bunch of uh, uh, flowery legal language, which if kind of loses some people in the first paragraph or so. Um, Damien Magnus. is able to dumb, dumb this <laughs> dumb this down for everyone effectively um, by by order of the magistrate or by ruling of the magistrate that um, um, the property of the sea god's fury, a now defunct Ludus, shall be divvied amongst the um, uh, amongst the claimants uh, along the following lines. 
um, and you kind of skip down to what you're going to get. There are a number of there are a number of soldiers that uh, will get pensions because they died. Apparently, mm -hmm. there were some guards that were at the gate um, that might have that it might have fallen. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That they that they pegged uh, that they pegged the sea god's fury off of some some damage to the pier, um, but um, you scan down to the Ludus name, the Conclave of Crimson uh, Scale, shall be awarded. And you almost have to read it several times. The Prison Hulk Pandemonium, <sighs> and all of its contents. We're gonna be pirates. <laughs> um, the uh, the Beast Tamer Lodge is to be award is uh, to be awarded um, fifteen thousand talents to be paid by the Conclave of Crim Crimson Scale. Fifteen talents. Fifteen talents. Yeah. Not fifteen thousand talents. No, fifteen thousand gold. Fifteen <laughs> talents. <laughs> <laughs> 15 talents to be paid from the Conclave of Crimson Scale, and it also makes reference to a second document, which is the uh, the official and legal conclusion of the business between the Conclave of Crimson Scale on the matter of Zed's employment and the uh, training of the Red Dragon. Mm -hmm. So the 15,000 talents are for damages and for uh, for services rendered. Cool. That works. Um, you also have another thing that you, within 10 days, are going to have to start to pay docking fees for the boat. Oh, oh. oh sure. Uh, why don't we just take it out to, to sea? Because right. let's be serious. Because we're not sailors? <laughs> oh, God damn. We're going to have to. What are we going to do with this? You want a new car? <laughs> <laughs> Time to pay some taxes and, and, and the registration Luxury and uh, tax. oh, oh the, air conditioner. The... It's got air conditioner. Oh, air conditioner tax. Oh, tires and the and the, mm. and the parking fee. Don't forget the parking yep. fee. Oh, parking. Yes. Uh, <coughs> the gladiators on like the, the the people on board the boat. If those are considered the contents. Yeah, that you have all the the stamped. Uh, property, like they've all been stamped and they are all either condemned or slaves, their statuses hasn't changed but you have you have the rights to this ship now we can use that source to, to jam through some stuff we could probably talk to Chebagast and see if he, like, we might trade the Trent for the debt if he's willing to do it, I don't know if he's got the cash though he might not be solvent enough for that um, yeah, I wanted to leave this to the end of the night because even Kenny and then there's some there's some uh, like yeah. like ideas flowing in chat. Yeah. Uh, feel free to send the ideas to the to these mofos. I think you know what their uh, uh, their usernames are, um, and uh, something to think about for the next what uh, we're, for the next. What we're all going to do is we're just going to listen to uh, uh, Lonely Island on repeat. <laughs> <On a boat. laughs> cutscene you have no idea I can't wait for this part but cutscene you have no idea where he is but Sir Prentice now finds himself in these strange back forested back roads and uh, as he's riding forward on a stolen horse um, recovered from his wounds about 10 from from the escape about 10 days ago he sees east, this he? sees this um, uh, this roadside inn called the Dusty Bow. Oh no! Oh, I. Do you do you know how long it's going to take Sam to want to punch that guy? About three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> now you don't know when he gets there. Is it after you guys go and do your shit in the inn, or is it before? Yeah. But uh, but he's arriving. Just clean up. Yeah. Oh, everybody looks it... hurt. We'll just stab, stab, stab. Yeah. Steal your wagon. Look at me, I'm a noble. Prentice meets Circus of Dread. Okay, guys, we have to post a really big bounty because Circus <laughs> put it like that bounty. <laughs> oh, the meta gaming there. <laughs> <laughs> 
some wealth to redistribution. Oh, and please divvy up your divvy up your gear in both of the uh, both of oh, the yes. teams because that hasn't been done. So put names beside things or figure out whether you want to sell things, take wealth, add it to your add it to your sheet, um, uh, to your Luda sheet, or divvy it how you want. At the end of spring, all the individual characters and masters will receive a stipend. It won't be that much, but it'll be something, kind of like money from either the Ludus itself, uh, from your masters, or from the uh, the army to pay for your... I'm your hoping bravery. it's a pile large enough to get a monk's robe made for uh, for the monk, because those are good. They, they Marty, you gave the guys like a million pages of treasure to divvy, though. Yeah, yeah I, I they they got a dragon's do, horde, and Do you think and the we other complain? Game... <laughs> What I don't want to do is I don't want to stream the divvying of the treasure. That's not good content, I don't think. I'm getting texted from the... Oh, it went away. I'm getting texted uh, okay. from the wife about the All right, whole... I need, I need a name for the game. A name the game. Uh, name and the game. Uh, uh, I'll Clean figure, up. I'll figure out Let's some Let's just XP. call it Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> yoink, yoink. Uh, yoink is not bad. Uh, oh, there were some good lines tonight. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember <laughs> three hours ago or something like that. Well, it something. There's a lot of the law. There was a bunch of fire stuff. There's lots of stealing happened. Far more stealing than normal. There was some Ligar domain. Yes. Um. Something like actions and consequences, or. Just desserts. There we go. That's an yes. excellent, excellent title. Yes. Well, thank you, Mark. Quit sucking oh, up. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's an excellent title, and probably the second best option. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, episode thirty. Uh, it was cool hanging out with you guys. Sorry about the stream acting all weird. I, uh, a reboot may have helped, but that would have been. Um, Annoying to really do. So, uh, just desserts. Let me spell desserts properly, not deserts. And some XP. You uh, dealt with legal issues. Um, you had a short little, uh, if we go backwards, we had a short little um, uh, duel with that wizard. Yes. Friggin' Malfoy, catch him! <laughs> yes. You set up some fights. Um, you um, successfully dealt with uh, the count. Um, what else? There was uh, some good role playing about Sona. Uh, 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 sorry, about Sonya's death. And learning, That's learning cool. the rules, learning the rules about whether the old gods in civilized places are allowed to use raised dead. The answer is not without permission of the Five Phase God Church, the Church of the Five Phase God. Um, there was some good role playing and discovery of Son uh, of Sonia becoming a Valkyrie. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, Tacitus role playing was neat. Stealing a scroll, stealing money, borrowing a scroll. I'm gonna replace it. Um, what else is there? I mean, there? not right away because I don't want there was the Israel to be able to use it. Played. Oh, the Kozuthan uh, successfully uh, converting your dragon. Yes. How to convert your dragon? What was the other thing you said? Sorry. Oh, the, um, you, the, you, the you trained a bunch of your dudes. A bunch of training. This, the, yeah. the, you got the joke fight, right? The six on one. Troll. Oh wall. yeah, yeah. The uh, <laughs> the CR four yeah. dude, uh, and then a bunch of CR one thirds. Uh, it all adds up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we set up fights and dicked around with some stuff. Uh, there was a little bit of things on the like the role playing the on the traps. boat with the. Uh, um, the cleanup. Yep, I I rounded it up, so I'm That's I'm good I'm good here. There were the, there was a trap, or the lock that uh, Sid dealt with. Okay. 
the the, uh, the future conversations are going to be the um, the Ashoka Z conversation of yeah, we need you to fight with the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? Yeah, you, <laughs> you guys are about seven thousand past seventh level. The main guys, uh, some of you a little bit more, because Ahmed appears to be almost at every game. Um, okay. Fuck my family. <laughs> Just kidding. They're cool. They get their time. <laughs> All right, this is a good one. Uh, you got about three thousand XP you know, for those cool. that are uh, each. That's right divide. By, that's divide by six, though. So, uh, don't you guys get fined if Prentice doesn't die in the arena? Yeah, if they don't yes. recover him by a certain one, uh, by a certain time, they might get fined as well. Uh, uh, find? I don't know if it's just find. Smoke from the ashes. That's a good one too. That is a really good one. Yeah, see, I gotta read the chat. Insurance is also a good one. What is it? Shrinks? It was insurance. Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smoke from the ashes. Greetings. It's a little late to join the stream as we're wrapping up because it's 3 a.m. Yeah. Hey, Pops. <laughs> uh, Buffalante. Uh, good to meet you guys. Maybe I'll, I'll end the stream with the, um, with the little uh, vignette that we built. Uh, I spent like a... A couple of hours in um, uh, Photoshop and uh, what is it called? Uh, Audacity. Uh, Audacity to build this. Uh, but this is what our campaign is about. We will post episodes eventually on YouTube. I think we I've got about twenty eight of them already posted on YouTube. You could watch the uh, broken up bits that are also on Twitch, as we've been playing since three thirty um, uh, uh, Pacific time, and it is almost uh, it's quarter after twelve at this this point. So we've had a pretty good. Pretty good stream. We'll play once more during the week uh, with the same campaign, and then we play regularly on Saturdays around 3.30 uh, Pacific. But here is what our campaign is about. It was good hanging out with all of you, and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do. Peace. Have a good night. Respond, lads. Betwixt the raising of the Undying Emperor and the great planner war that shook the heavens, there was an age of contradiction. Where cannons won kingdoms and muskets kept the peace, a brave few won the hearts of the conquered and conquerors alike. Of these we speak of the decline of the great kingdoms and cultures under the heel of empire. Of those we speak of gladiators and the untold thousands that worshipped them. Of this, an age of glory where kings would be slaves, and a gladiator would be king. Thank you.